Hey everyone, welcome back to Fly After 50. It's me, Dee, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I'm trying a new brand, and this is a brand I found on Instagram, and they are called Iris and Romeo. So Iris and Romeo is a clean, minimalist, cruelty-free, sustainability-minded brand. So I saw some ads on Instagram, and I saw um, that they had this uh, foundation that is supposed to be, you know, minimalist, like glossier kind of. And I want to give it a try, you know, since I've been trying all these foundations lately. So I ordered two things from this brand. I got the Best Skin Day with SPF 30, which is like a light foundation. And I also got the Weekend Skin SPF 30. 30 with vitamin C and glow and this is like a product you can put on your skin and it'd be like a primer so let's give it a, a look see I got my box right here I have not looked at them yet and uh, let's, let's go ahead and go ahead and pull these products out so the first product that I do have is the best skin days five-in-one skin care dewy coverage broad, broad spectrum SPF 30 and it comes in this packaging it has 12 different shades and I have shade 11 I looked on their Instagram and I noticed that they did not have anybody with a dark skin tone on there so I wanted to give it a try and I saw a few comments you know say hey I want to see this on dark skin tones so I said hmm, why not so I got this and the next thing I have is the Weekend Skin Warm Glow SPF 30 Vitamin C Glow. It has broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. They have these in two shades. One is a sheer luminosity and one is the golden glow, which is the one I have. So I have shade 11 and golden glow. Let's see what they look like. Okay. So this is the, uh, oh, very nice, very nice glass bottle. This is what it looks like in the vibe. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there's the shade right there. Another interesting thing I saw on their website, even though they don't have pictures and stuff, when when they uh describe the color or the tone for the foundation they compare it to celebrities so if you if you look at a celebrity say lupita nyongo i think this is the this is one of the ones that would fit her shade so it's a very sheer it's supposed to be a very sheer product so that's what it looks like you also get 1.2 ounces of product for $48. Now the next item I have is the sheer glow that we're going to use as a primer. Okay, here it is. Very nice packaging as well and this is what it looks like. You get 1.18 fluid ounces of product for $50. So this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and since we can't see it like the foundation. Okay, that's what it looks like. All right. Feels good and it's thick. Okay, so we're going to be using this as a as a primer and putting on the foundation. Um, I've already prepped my face. My skincare has been done and I just did my eyebrows. That is it because this is supposed to be a clean minimalist brand. They also sell a like blush that can come along with this but I have several types of br blushes already like that. And I have this Tokyo have Milk which is the one I'll be using today because it's a so nice good. bright color. So I'll be using this you know just to put on my lip to put on my lips my cheeks and my eyes to bring out everything. All right, let's go. So the first thing we're gonna put on is the primer. It's very thick. It says squeeze enough product to cover the length of both your index and middle fingers from base to tip. Then run hands together and rub and blend into skin with fingertips as if you're applying moisturizer and allow the formula to melt into skin. Apply daily as the last step in your skincare routine or use under best skin days 
as a makeup gripping primer. Okay, this gives you a slight glow. It's not as much as I thought I would be getting, and I did put it on kind of light. Let's put it on. on it's on here it does give you a slight glow and if you're worried about it being greasy or anything it is not greasy so it does not feel oily it does not feel greasy it's not like a strong gripping primer but I can tell you can use it as a primer and and the whatever you put on top won't move so feeling good so far. I like the way it looks. Okay, the next thing we're going to be putting on is a foundation. Let's do a swatch of that. There, there it is swatched. I'm just going to go in. I'm the only one using this, but I'm going to use my sponge. I saw somebody doing it with their hands too, so, but I'm gonna use my sponge. really good it does not feel oily it does not feel greasy I I look like I have a fresh face fresh lit with it well from within glow because I have this slight slight luminosity on my skin but it's not overpowering or anything like that I feel I feel fresh face it feels really good and although this is for minimalist beauty, I feel like you can you can still you can still do your bronzer, you can still do all that on your skin, and it'll still look good. It, I I like it. What I'm going to do is put a little concealer under my eye, just a little. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots under eye, just a little bit. And on my eyes. So dark spots, I don't know. I, I would still put a little concealer. If you have dark under eyes or whatever. Dark under eyes, around your mouth, that type of thing. I would still use a little bit of corrector. If that's the vibe you're going for. See, just a little bit. I'm going to try to correct her around my mouth a little bit. See what that does. And of course, if you don't have any dark spots, dark areas, you don't have to do this. Duh. All right, I think this looks good. Now I'm going to just use a little bit of this Tokyo Tokyo Milk Balm on my cheeks. A little bit on my eyes. Okay, y'all, this is my finished look. I really do like it. The uh, foundation is creamy, it's buildable, it gives you a dewy like finish, but not overly dewy, but just a little, just a touch of dew, which I like. I got the luminosity from the foundation and the uh, weekend skin warm glow. I really like this. I feel like it, it is buildable. I build it up just a little bit. I probably could have did more around my mouth so that I didn't have to use so much 
use the corrector or maybe less of the corrector but I really like this this looks good okay Iris and Romeo y'all wasn't just saying that if you're my skin tone or you're around my skin tone and you were wondering if this product could work for you I really think it can and it is not overly greasy I don't feel like I don't feel like um I got a lot of oils on my face, which is sometimes how you feel with dewy foundation. I don't feel like that. Y'all, I really like this. I do. Iris and Romeo got, got something on their hands here. Uh, hey, y'all, I'm back real quick. I wasn't intending to do any type of wear test, but I just figured since I didn't do the video yet, edit the video yet, might as well come on here and show you how good this how good this uh, Best Skin Days by Iris and Romeo is looking. I haven't done anything. It is 7.30 and I wanna, but I'm only, I only put it on at about, it was about one o'clock, 12 or one o'clock. I didn't even look at my time at that time, but it was 12 or one o'clock. So, but this is how it's looking. It's still looking nice. It looks exact same as it did. Really like it. Just wanted to come in real quick and tell y'all that.